What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Hope everybody's having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. I think after watching that Miami Heat and Boston Celtics series, a lot of people are coming away with the conclusion that it is time to break up the Jays in Boston. It's time probably to trade Jalen Brown. And I'm honestly, I'm on that bandwagon. Because after that Game 7 performance, after that series performance out of Jalen Brown, I just, I can't see Boston wanting to pay him $300 million, which is what he's up for. And I think that trading him is probably better for the team and might be better for him. So in this video, I'm going to break down Jalen Brown's strengths and weaknesses and why some teams may want him and why um, there's going to be some trade scenarios that are going to be floated around this offseason for him 100%. So I'm going to float around some of those trade scenarios that I think are going to happen. Before I do, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you enjoy this kind of content, please like the video. But let's talk about Jalen Brown's game. So what exactly are Jalen Brown's strengths? Because he is a, he is a good player. Okay, He's a good player. I don't think he's a great player think he's like a top 30 kind of player his strengths he's a decent iso scorer he's really really good in transition he's fantastic in transition i will say he's got a solid mid-range game and he can finish pretty well so he's a he's a decent solid scorer right so that's what i think but that's really kind of it i mean he's a solid rebounder too if you want to throw that in there but the weaknesses are glaring and i think miami exposed a lot of them and they've been weaknesses that he's had his entire career up until this point He's not very good when he has to make decisions. And it's not very good when he has to make decisions in, in traffic and in tight spaces and has to make quick decisions. He doesn't make great decisions. Uh, his passing is just not very good. His handle is very poor. If you want to talk about his handle and his passing, the dude basically had, I think he had 68 turno or 66 turnovers and 68 assists in the postseason. That's a terrible ratio. He had eight turnovers in the game seven, and they were just like bad turnovers, just losing the ball, trying to go behind his back. He's just trying to do too much. And it's, it was a glaring weakness. And then I think defensively, I think he's, I'm not, because I don't want this to be a hate Jalen Brown video. I think defensively, I think he's overrated. I think on ball, he's okay. Off ball, he's terrible. He has so many lapses that gets backdoored. It just happens way too often. In the post, he's pretty solid, I'll say. But everywhere else, defensively, there he leaves a lot to be desired. There are times where he can be a fantastic defender. But it looked like a lot of this season, particularly, especially, he was just playing for his contract and trying to get up shots, trying to get up points and make the All-NBA team, which I get it. You know, he's a pro. He's trying to get as much money as he can. I respect it. But when it comes to winning a championship, these are habits that killed the Celtics. Shot selection was another thing that absolutely killed them. It felt like any time in Game 7 or games that they lost, any time that they made a run or were about to come back and close the gap up, he took like a 30-foot-3 in transition that it was just like, what are you doing? There's a lot of, he left you thinking, what are you doing way too many times? It was very apparent when Miami went to zone that he just simply could not read how to react. He couldn't read and react to the zone. That defense, it had him stifled. And I think for Boston to get to where it wants to go, you need to have a second guy next to Jason Tatum that is that excels in multiple areas, not just scoring. You need a guy that can score and create. You need a guy that can either score and defend at a super high level or you need a guy that can shoot really well and create for others. Like they need some sort of combo of that. And Jalen Brown is really a, a singular player. He's has one singular strength. Now that's not to say that he can't like learn these over time, which is very possible. But when you're in a situation where you're trying to win a championship, it's kind of like, dude, I'm about to give you $300 million. You're going to take up a bunch of my cap. And I don't know if I can trust you to be a number two on a championship team. So while I think he's a good player because of, scoring wise he is pretty solid everything else leaves a lot to be desired let's talk about his trades and who could get traded for him and i want you guys to let me know in the comments who you would trade for Jalen brown would you trade him at all um i'm gonna list these trades right now so if you agree or disagree let me know in the comments unless you've been living under a rock the portland trailblazers are in trade city basically and i think that there's two potential trades that we could see out of the blazers uh one being them trading dame and finally giving up on that sending him for Jalen Brown and maybe some filler, maybe Grant Williams as a sign or something like that. So you get Dame for those two guys. Obviously, we know what this does. This gives Boston a, a great number two and a really elite number one on most nights. Guy that can shoot, create for others, great leader, etc. You get all that. And then Portland blows it up. They also get a good young player uh, to pair with Shaden Sharp. And well, yeah, so they just they just get young and good and young and decent and they finally blow it up. Or you could be the Blazers and you don't want to trade Dame, 
but you still want to get Jalen Brown because you think that this is the year that, you know, this is the last year with Dame where you can make a championship run happen. So you want to go get Jalen Brown to pair with him. You'd probably trade Anthony Simons and the number three pick in the draft. And I think Boston might be might like this because Simons is a very, very good shooter. He can create for others. A little over four assists per game, but he was playing kind of off ball next to Dame, Shaden Sharp, a lot of other guys kind of trying to find his role there. And like I said, he's a good shooter, and I think he can be an even better creator than what he's shown to this point. And, you know, you get the number three pick on top of it. So you get either Scoot Henderson or Brandon Miller, and that's another guard or another wing that you can pair next to Jason Tatum. And you just saved yourself $300 million, and now you have more depth. So, you know, people got to remember, Tatum's only 25, so this window of championships uh, is open for quite a while with him. But you want to have flexibility to, to keep building championship teams and I think if you give Jalen $300 million, that really handicaps you. I think another team that could be looking at a possible trade, I don't know how likely it is, but the Atlanta Hawks, I think we could see something like DeJounte Murray and uh, maybe like Sadiq Bey and maybe some filler or kind of however you want to mix and match that for Jalen Brown and filler. Um, I don't know if the Hawks want to give up on DeJounte just yet because they traded so much to get him. Maybe there's a crazy universe where Trey Young is the guy that gets traded for Jalen Brown I don't know. I prefer the DeJounte side more just because Boston, imagine the defense with DeJounte Murray, Marcus Smart, Jason Tatum, Robert Williams, and whoever you want to put at the three or the four. That looks really, really good. I like that. Maybe Sadiq Bey in this case, right? So I like that. And that gives them an identity. I think that's something Boston really lacked is they just didn't know who they were throughout the year. They were just, uh, they just had a lot of talent. They figured it out, but weren't able to figure it out on the highest stage. So I think you can see something with the Hawks possibly happening. One that uh, I I really like, but I don't know if it'll happen, and I, I kind of hope it does. The Bulls and the Celtics should make, could make a trade with Zach Levine and Jalen Brown, and I think it's just a straight-up swap. And I think the Celtics get the better creator and a better uh, shooter from range and just a sol- solid scorer. And I think it's the Bulls kind of, all right, let's move on from this Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, Nikola uh, Vucevic trio, and let's let's start over. And you can start over with a good player like Jalen Brown. That's a good start. So maybe that happens. I would be very excited for either team if that happened. Because it's about time the Bulls blow it up. One I saw get floated around on Twitter today was Desmond Bain and like Tyus Jones or other filler for Jalen Brown. I I personally don't think this will happen because I just don't think the Grizzlies want it. They'd go they'd lose their, you know, two of their best shooters and go from a bad shooting team to a terrible shooting team. So I don't think that they do it, but I do for Boston. I would love it getting Desmond Bain, who 40% three-point shooter for his entire career, 20 points plus per game, solid defender, can create for others. Like I, I like that. And then Tyus Jones gives you another excellent point guard if you want to finally get a true point guard next to Jason Tatum. But those are the trades that I think could possibly happen. I was looking through the, the West. It was a little hard to find some teams in the West that I thought would – be willing to make trades. I was like, maybe the Timberwolves that they're just like, we need to help Ant. Maybe they were willing to trade Cat and get, you know, Jalen Brown. Maybe that's just me spitballing. But in the West, I really didn't see a lot of other teams other than the Blazers uh, potentially making trades because I feel like a lot of teams in the West think that they're already really good and can contend for a championship. And there's not a lot of teams in the West getting ready to restart. So, as mentioned earlier, my question to you guys is who would you trade him for? And if you wouldn't trade him, are, are you're obviously cool with him? getting paid 300 million let me know in the comments how you feel about that if you're new to the channel please subscribe and if you enjoy this kind of content please like the video but i think it's time for the celtics to to hit us hit a little bit of a reset on the the jalen brown jason tatum experience peace